Hello. Welcome to Bob's Dungeon. My name is Bob. I'll be your host. And it is really close to Halloween right now. So I figure in this video we're going to do something a little bit different and talk about something that's not really a role-playing game, depending on how you use it. That's right. In this video we're going to be talking about the Necronomicon Ex Mortis, roughly translated, The Book of the Dead. It was written long ago when the seas ran red with blood. It was this blood that was used to ink the book. Bound in human flesh and inked in blood, this book contains bizarre passages that can be used to resurrect the dead and other demons. So let's go ahead and have a look, shall we? We're going to forego our normal format to look at this book so we can get a better look at it. As you can see, this is the cover. It has a human face on it. Well, sort of human face. It's the skin stretched over the cover of the book. We open it up and take a look. As you can see, it's not written in English, so there's no way to read it. This book has an undetermined amount of pages because to count them would surely lead to madness. The writers of this book, publishers, who knows? Depends on what continuity we go with. It could be the Dark Ones. could be the Mad Arab. It could even just be some old fart in a cave. Nobody knows. But the book is well rendered. All of the artwork, as you can see, is pretty much red with blood. And it's got everything you need to resurrect a demon, possibly travel through time, looks like commit some slaughtery type yard work. Got some very good looking people in it. And anything you would need to do dark, evil, twisted things. If you can read this, you're one step up over me. So I can't read a thing. But this book is very neat. not the original <laughs> it's not really an official copy but it's a very very good likeness of the book and pretty impressive lots of time and care was put into this book it would make a great prop. As a matter of fact, <laughs> the Book of the Dead was a great prop in the final Friday, which was not a great movie. And it was just neat to look at. Curiosity. Like I said, it, lots of neat stuff in here if you're into evil, twisted things. <laughs> but I like it. There's lots to see and lots to do in this book. Very good likeness of the original.
And I figured this was a good thing to look at for Halloween. Something different than what we normally do. And of course the back cover. And that, my friends, is the Necronomicon. And this brings me to three questions. Would I use this book in a project that I was planning on doing? Probably. There's a lot of neat stuff about this book. It could be used in several ways if you wanted. Have I thought about bringing forth the Dark Ones to destroy this world and cast everything into darkness? Oh, who hasn't thought about that? It could be fun. Would I recommend this book? If you're looking to drive yourself and others around you mad, go for it. This is the book for you. And that's pretty much all I got to say about the Necronomicon. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to be going. Those teenagers are out in my lawn again, and I think I'm going to teach them a really good lesson this year. Bye.